Hey guys, I'm Alina and today we are going to learn class 9 NCRT Maths Chapter 1 Number Systems Exercise 1.1. So let's get started. So the first question exercise 1.1 is is 0 a rational number and can it be in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So all these conditions given in the question define what is a rational number. Now 0 can be written in the form of 0 upon 1 where 1 is not equal to 0. Here 1 is q and 0 is p. It is in the form of p by q and 1 is not equal to 0 and both 0 and 1 are integers. Hence, 0 is a rational number because it can be written in the form of p by q as 0 upon 1 where 1 is not equal to 0 or q is not equal to 0 and 0 and 1 both are integers. Next question, we have to find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. So for that, we will multiply 3 and 4 by 10. So we will first write 3 upon 1 into 10. Uh, both sides in the denominator and numerator both and 4 upon 1 into 10 and into 10 which gives us 30 upon 10 and 40 upon 10. Now you can write any 6 numbers between them like 31 upon 10, 32 upon 10, 33 upon 10, 34 upon 10, 35 upon 10 and 36 upon 10. And then just write all the numbers in their simplest form and that would be the answer for this question. Now let's move on to question number 3. Here also we have to find 5 rational number between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5. We use the same method. We multiply both of them by 10. Uh, so it would be 3 upon 5 into 10 both in numerator and denominator and 4 upon 5 into 10 both numerator and denominator. So this would become 40 upon 50 and 30 upon 50. And now we have to write 5 numbers between them. So we can write 41 upon 50, 42 upon 50, 43 upon 50, 44 and 45 upon 50. Now you can even convert them into its simplest form. Now let's move on to question number 4. Here we have been given with statements and we need to prove them true or false and give reason for the same. First one, every natural number is a whole number. Now for that you need to know what is a natural number and what is a whole number. So we can write natural numbers are numbers from 1 to infinite. And what are whole numbers? Whole numbers are numbers from 0 to infinite. Now the question is, every natural number is a whole number. Yes, that is true because uh, natural numbers are from 1 to infinite and whole numbers also contain numbers which are from 1 to infinite. So the statement would be true. And the reason you can write because all natural numbers are also considered as whole numbers. Next one, every integer is a whole number. Now we know what is a whole number. What is an integer? Integers are numbers which have positive and negative both. It is a collection of positive and negative numbers. The question says every integer is a whole number. The statement would be false because integers also have negative numbers. And whole numbers are only positive numbers 
which are from 0 to infinity. So the statement will be false. The last question of this exercise, third one, every rational number is a whole number. We know the definition of a rational number that it can be written in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. Every rational number is a whole number. Now this statement is again false. Why? Because as I told you, rational numbers can be written in the form of p by q, which is fraction. And whole numbers cannot be written in the form of fractions. They are just from 0 to infinite. And fractions are not included in whole numbers. So that is why this statement is also false. And that was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I'm on YouTube. I'll see you in my next one. Till then take care and bye bye.